I like to bulletproof my golf game. And one of those ways is the Paul Runyon Chip and Runyon. Now the Chip and Runyon is a putting grip. I like to use the reverse overlap. Grip it up. The more you grip down, the more you're dealing with the center of the club face. The more you grip up, the more you're dealing toward the toe. Now, we're going to pull this up into a putting grip. So our hands come up, we're holding up on the club, and we're hitting off the toe. This is a 5 iron. The reason I pick a 5 iron is it's going to roll out a lot. So I'm going to bump this onto the green maybe 2 yards or so, and just watch it go out to the hole. You use as low loft as you can to get the ball rolling. The softer you can hit the ball, the more you can control it. The less hard you hit the ball, the easier it is, it is to control. The harder, the more difficult. So remember, putting style, hold up, putting stroke, off the toe, obsessive landing spot. Try get, you know, you want to work on like a yard onto the green. You can adjust your club from there. I'm going to go a yard onto the green here, just like that. So even that was a little yippy, but look at the result. We're going to leave ourselves a beautiful little maybe four footer for the par there. Perfect distance control, even with a little yippy stroke. This is a much shorter chip. We're gonna take our putting grip, seven iron, off the toe, because our landing spot is still about a yard on the green, and we just wanna get this going. We're very relaxed, we're not tense. We're very relaxed, with like a, a little loose putting stroke, because you can trust this. That's why you can be chill, just trust it. There we go. Just a beautiful little chip, right? Look at that. It's going to settle up probably maybe two and a half feet, three feet from the cup. Beautiful. Now we have a skanky lie. And I call it a skanky lie because you see them once and you don't want to see them again. Now how do we get a skanky lie out of our apartment? I mean, <clears throat> a ball out of a skanky lie. This one might shoot a bit more. Let's try a similar landing spot, maybe a bit closer. Just like that. We've just, we've just got it out right on the toe here, and that's going to be even better. Look at that. Look at that. Because we've taken all the guesswork out, just a very simple stroke. I'll show you one from the side with a pitching wedge over there. Doing a normal putt, and then I'm going to just take a normal putting stroke off the toe. Try to land it just on the front of the green here. And that's a beautiful shot. And that's all you have to do. One more time from the back with a pitching wedge. The same shot we just showed you from the front, just to, just to cement this in your mind, that you can do this much better than me even. I don't do this that often, only when I'm low on confidence. Beautiful little putt. Let's get a little skanky lie there, because we can prove that it works for everything. Just like that. You can even get a little yippy with this, you know, if you're having problems. Now, where you put it in your stance is up to you. You know, you can hit it a little higher from here, a little lower. Just go experiment with it. But all your money is made on the toe.